move on. You don't want to be late. Mm, never felt less like work in my life. What time did you get in last night? Don't know, but it must have been late. Oh, my head. <laughs> Anybody would think it was you who'd been out on the battle. I seem to have had this head for days. I wouldn't mind, but I'm sick with cold, too. I'll oh, snap out of it, Mother. Oh, that's right. Give me a bit of sympathy. Well, you've come it too often to kid me. What, you think I'm putting it on, do you? I don't think. I know. Well, all I can say is I wish that you had it, then you would know. It's worse than toothache. At least you can get at that. Well, I've aspirin. Well, I've taken two already. Hey, look, the soul's all but through. Oh, no. Well, no, you can't go out with it like that. Well, I'm only crossing over to work. Nobody will see me as matters. That's not the point. Oh, Mother, do give over. I came in late last night. Now I'm tired. You're tired. I'll have you know that I've been awake since five, five o'clock this mo morning. You do think I'm putting this on, don't you? Well, aren't you? Wouldn't be the first time. You've come it before and you can't deny it. And I've been away. Why don't you bring that up too? Hmm? Well, why don't you? Because I know you're only saying it for saying sake. Anyway, if I don't hurry, I'm going to be late for work. I've told you once, you can't go on them shoes. What the hell I've got? What about your black ones? They're at the cobblers. But you can't go in them. Oh, one morning I'll leave this house without a row. Well, who starts them? Look, Mother, these are all I've got. So I'm going in them, all right? Well, uh, have you got a clean? You should have more sense at your age, Mrs. Sharples. So you just decided to come home, did you, at the dead of night, without so much as a buy your leave to anyone? My own life, I'll do what I like with it. While you're in hospital, your life's their responsibility. Yes, well, I'm out now. I suppose you realize, having done this, they can't be held responsible for anything that might happen to you? <laughs> I shouldn't think that'll bother them over much. And another thing, what right had they to go sending a bobby after me? Every right. Oh, you think so, do you? Well, I said to him, I said, I may have come home to die, but if you're not off that step before I count four, it'll not stop me from wanging you one with this hot water bottle. Oh. So, uh, you've come home to die, have you? I have. Uh, just as a matter of interest, what of? Ooh, they don't tell you that. You're the last person to get to know. They told me fool of a daughter, though. They won? Oh, well, not in so many words, but you can't stop a body from thinking. Look, it set me flaming mad. Oh, there has not been near me here for months, and that fool of a sister goes and gives her the first wink. Mm. Well, I'm sorry to disillusion you, but you're not ready for the graveyard. Crematorium. Well, it's your funeral. Well, then, what's the matter with me? Nobody would tell me in there. Is this it, I said? Will the old year see me out? Not a word. Am I going under the knife? Nobody will answer me. Without a word of a lie, I never clapped eyes on a qualified doctor all the time I was in there. I was just a free show for medical students. Plain fact of the matter is, you're getting on in years. Aye, you're right there, doctor. And nobody wants you when you're old. Catches up with all of us. Aye, does that. He, I was a beautiful young woman, a right Bobby Dazzler. Huh? Fellas, I could have had the pick of anybody I'd wanted. I'd air down to here, I could sit on it. Huh? I'd a waste... Yeah. I'd a waste like that. Huh? No corsets, all me own. <laughs> oh, well, I've just got to face up to it. My skirt dancing days is over. A simple matter of senile decay. A matter of what? Advancing years. That's not what you said before. Comes to the same thing. Indeed, it does not. Oh, really, woman? Oh, so it's woman now, is it? Look, Dr. Tinsley, you've got a dirty tongue. You want to take a bar of washing soap to it. Now, look here, Ma. And don't I'm you getting... come mind me, you... Shut up. You're not afraid of anybody, are you? You want to stay that way, Doctor. Don't let anybody put yes, on you. Yes, never I... mind about all that. Now, just understand this, Mrs. Sharples. I give the orders round here. And I respect you for it. Well, I can't go in now, that's for certain. You could explain. Oh, she would think it funny. All house full, dead to the wire till gone nine o'clock. Oh, it's my fault. I made sure I'd wound that alarm. Well, you obviously haven't. I still think if you explain. No, oh, you don't know what it's like in the slightly higher price department these days. None of us b bother explaining to that two-faced ossity, not if we could help it. What's she like? Mutton dressed as lamb. Suffers from hay fever. 
Mayface hasn't seen soap and water inside two years of into allergy. Doesn't she wash, then? No, she puts. Hey. You know, vanishing cream and that much. Mm. I wonder if it's good for you. I can't think why I haven't told you about her before. I haven't been here to tell. Oh, she's a right hand bone. You know, without a word of a lie, she bought herself a new dress four months ago. Black jersey wool, double stuff, you know. 11 17 sick, less discount. She thinks it's the last word. She hasn't had it off her back since the day she got it. And her not washing, too. Yeah, you can imagine. She absolutely ums. Ma'am, where have you put me best tie? Well, I... And that's a nice way to come downstairs, isn't it? You must have. I haven't seen it. Where did you leave it? In front room. Why don't you try putting things away? Then you'd know where to look for them. It's news talking. What's all this dressing up for, anyway? You mind yours, now my mind. Where are you off? Out. Why bother asking, Elsie? Have you tried the tall boy? Oh, no. What's up with him? I don't know. All I can say is thank God for Harry Hewitt. Tip for me. The way the police kept on and on at our kid, and then as soon as Harry spoke for him, they let him go just like that. Oh, that's a clean record. I suppose it makes a difference. You're telling me. You know, this is going to nag me all morning. I wonder if I should have gone in. Well, it's up to yourself. Ah, oh, well, never mind. I'll go in at dinner time. Well, what do you say? Oh, I'll think of something on the bus. Where's Ivan? I'll let him lie in for a bit. Well, this can't be much of an old day for him, can it? Well, it's a change, anyway. Mom! Sounds like the crack of doom, doesn't it? What? Will you give me shoes a bit of a rub up? What do you think I am? Will you or won't you? For that? No. Well, I wouldn't. Well, neither would I, if I didn't think it was something special. And it must be, because I've never seen him so particular before. <sighs> I don't suppose there'll be much doing at the shop today. Or I'll be hanging back for the sales. Not that that will stop Mrs. Dumbarton, though. Floating around in 11, 17, 6 less discount, upsetting everybody, as usual. Is she married, then? Well, she says she is. Calls for her every night at the staff entrance. Now, I ask you, is that how a married couple go on? Bells, bells, Lord Uncum Dunkum. You've got that stuff on again. What stuff? That have to shave them up, you big Jesse. Watch it, you. It's you that wants to watch it. If you go out reeking like that, people will be saying things about you. This were in letterbox. Oh, give it here. I'm, uh, I'm going after a job. What as? A mannequin? No, it's a place where they make crutches for lame ducks. See ya. Hey, ma'am, Lou. Coronation Street, St. News. Hi. Nice goings on, I must say. Not been in the street five minutes and getting the place a bad name already. Who? Mrs. Florence Lena Lindley. Who's that? Woman at the corner shop. She's been got for selling after town. Oh, how much did they do her for? A quid. Dr. Tinsley came today. Oh, what did you say? Plenty. From all accounts, you better make the most of me while you can. Oh. Yes, madam. You might well say, oh. I thought you was a ghost. Well, your looks out. And I thank you for the return of my feather duster. It belongs to the art. That indeed it does not. That feather duster is my personal property, having been won by me at a beetle drive. And seeing it in your hand proves one thing. You've been rooting. To get at that duster at the back of the cupboard, you've had to go right through my pot towels, my handbag full of photos, and my insurance policies. I never. May I drop dead this very moment? I never. It were leaning up over there. May you be forgiven. Here. Take it. Right. Now get. What do you mean? What I say. Get. Time for you to abdicate. I'm back. Mr. Lindley. You sound happy. Oh, why shouldn't I? Plenty to be happy about. Wish I had. 
Oh, come on, book up. That court case over and done with now. It's a shame of having my name in the papers. What did they think? Well, oh, I wouldn't let it want you. But it does. I've only ever had my name in the papers once before, and that was on my wedding day. And then they got it all wrong. How come? Well, you see, me and Sissy Lawson was married on the same morning, and they got our frocks mixed. They said that I was in cream brocade and wreath and veil. Weren't you? No, that was Sissy Lawson. I was in a big hat and ankle-length Georgette. <laughs> my mother was flaming mad about it. <laughs> Something up on the wall next door. Yeah, can I have a bottle of that, please? Mm. Oh. Carry on like that, they'll be through in a minute. Hey, you don't think that. Hey, there's someone up there. Look after the shop for a minute, will you, Harry, and I'll go and see. Hi, how, how will you get in? She leaves the door on the latch for Christine. <laughs> hey, up, Alfie. Oh. Well, what's her, Harry? Banging on the wall from Mrs. Harden. Don't know what it is. Eh? Hey? I'd better go round and see what I can do. Come inside a minute, love. Well, what's the matter? It's Mrs. Arden. Oh, they've not had to take her away again. No, love. Well, then what? She's dead. Oh, no, I shouldn't have come out with it like that, but how else can I put it? When? This morning. Now, look, she didn't suffer anything like that. She, she just went, that's all. But what oh, who? It was only last night I was talking to her. Look, I think you'd better come in. I've just made a fresh pot of tea. No, no, thank you. What, what about Christine? Where's she? She's gone to the hospital. That's where they took Mrs. Arden. Christine's gone to collect her things. Well, who's gone with her? Nobody. Do you mean to say that... Now, now look, we all tried. Christine wouldn't have it. She was... She was sort of dazed or something. What's up with you? Like, you look like a funeral. Oh, nothing. Get inside. What's up? Nothing. Uh, you can do anything. Go on. It's only last night. I was talking to her. Look, shall I ask her in or will you? I mean, I don't care either way, whatever you think is best. If there's anything I can do. Hello. Hello, love. Come on. argument you're coming home to spend the night with me. What do you need tonight, eh? Have the electric blanket so you'll be nice and warm. Don't expect you've had anything to eat, have you? Couldn't face anything. Oh, yes, you could. That silly talk. Nothing since breakfast. You'll be... Oh, come on now. I've got a nice half shoulder of lamb at home. Won't take long to cook it. Really, Esther, I'd rather stay here. Yeah, I dare say you would, but if I left you, chances are you'd stop up till all hours. And the important things now are some food in your stomach and a good night's sleep. You'll have a lot to do tomorrow. Why, what do you mean? Well, uh, never mind, there'll be a lot to arrange. Tonight can take some of it off his shoulders. We can talk about it over supper. Wait a nighty. It's under my pillow.
put it away in a drawer. Wouldn't even let her look at it. Now look, love, I know how you feel, and I can't tell you how sorry I am, but just remember... Don't that say she didn't suffer or she's gone to a better place than this, because I'm sick of hearing them and they don't mean anything. I wasn't going to. I'm sorry, Esther. You've got nothing to be sorry about. Here. Oh, I don't know what it is. It says they gave it to me at the hospital. I just signed for everything and I come away. It's a wedding ring. I haven't done any crying, you know. Usually I cry for anything. Dead daft things set me off, but... I had to go and get her things from the mortuary. Just can't believe it. You, um, go in and have a look at her. Oh. No, I didn't want to. They'll just bring her home for the funeral. Have you let your Uncle Edwin know? Yes, I phoned me Auntie Letty from the hospital. And they're coming over? No, I told them not to bother. Oh, so they're not? Well, they wanted to, but... I mean, there's nothing they could do. Anyway, they'll be round in the morning. Well, in that case, there's no reason I was why... awful to her this morning. She's been going on for days about those heads, and I told her to snap out of it. Snap out of it, Mother, I said. I didn't even say to her, I just banged off out. You see, Esther, she has played up lots of times. I wasn't being out. Of course you weren't. I was machining sleeves when they come for me. I was just thinking, if she starts again this dinner time, I'll really let her have it. When they come. I keep going over and over it in my mind. Yes, well, try and forget about it now, love. You know, she wasn't always like that, Esther, moaning and that. It's only since my dad died. When I was little, she was smashing. I can just remember I'd show in the air and she was... <laughs> what my mother has done. It's the time of year for flowers. Whatever's in season. Well, you'll have to see how much you collect. Now, you better get round at it tonight before they start spending up over the holidays. What are you doing lounging about in that suit? No wonder you never have anything decent to your back. I come on with some news for you, but you're also busy being morbid. Morbid? You've neither sense nor feeling, you. I've uh, got a job. Oh, what doing? It's in a club in town. Here we go. What do you mean, here we go? Nothing's ever right for you, is it? What'll you be doing at this club? On the door, helping out behind bar, this and that. Oh, how much? Hello. Yes, well, if you're thinking of stopping here, my terms are £3.10 a week. Oh, you'll get it. I should hope I will. Uh, how did you hear about this job? Contacts, you know. Oh, they've let somebody out for the new year. Oh, Mother, you've got a lovely nature. Oh, it's time I were off. Uh, what time shall I be expecting you back this evening? Whip milk. Blooming heck. Oh, look, we haven't got an empty cocoa tin anywhere, have we? What for? Well, I could knock a hole in the lid. Look, I'm not going round collecting money and putting it in my purse. You know what people are like round here. A pint pot will do. A pint pot won't do at all. We can see right through them. You know, jolly well somebody will say it's a fiddle. You know that. Go and get an act. I'm not carting all the way upstairs. I'll borrow one. No, go and get your own. Then you can bring my cardigan down at the same time. Where's Conceptor? And she's over there. I recognised him right away. I thought to myself, as soon as I saw that red race car, I thought, that's Christine Ardman's young man. So I just said, I suppose you've heard. And of course he had and come to her side as he should. No, that's just it. He hadn't heard. So I told him where Christine were, with Esther, like. And he just said, well, I'm afraid I'm not much good at these sort of things. And he drove away. He looked sorry, mind you. Well, at a time like this, that's not good enough. Aye, a bit of help's worth a deal of pity. There's my contribution, look. Sorry, I can see this is going to be a thankless job already. Uh, yes, any yet. I managed to catch her eye. I think she's a bit busy in there. Uh, tell you what, I'll go in the snug first, eh? Right. Have you 
ever heard the like of it. Mrs. Longhurst has just been telling me that that boyfriend of Christine Hartman's, him with the blood top... Now, has save had... it, love, till we get the New Year draw. Come on, will you do it for will us? Will it bar me from winning? Of course not. <laughs> That's all right, then. You see, I've got five bombs worth of tickets. <laughs> oh, come on now. Come on, we're just going to make the draw. Come on now. 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 Quiet, please. Quiet. <laughs> Uh, now, we're just about to draw the lucky number. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. So here's the chance for those of you who have bought tickets to see whether you've come up or not. <laughs> now, the first one. prize is... a bottle of whiskey, and don't be so long-winded. Shut your eyes, Jack. All right, a bottle of whiskey. Well, come on, get some kidney pins in here. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, well, who's been long-winded now? Come on, what's the hold-up? Yeah. Mm. What shall we do, eh? Oh, what name is on it? Mrs. Hardman. Oh. Must be one of those Christine bought for our mother. What time is it? Quarter past one. Ye gods. Here, hold on, I said one glass. Oh, you didn't pay anything for it. I beg your pardon. I paid a shilling for that ticket. Trust me to win a lousy bottle of sherry. I like it. Uh, so we gather. You know, I still don't think they should have redrawn for that bottle of whiskey. They should have just given it to Christine. I don't know. It might have made things worse. Oh, I don't know. Jack Walker had the sense he was born. We would just call out Christine's name and made an end of it. Have you heard what they're saying about a boyfriend? Just drove past the front door, not as much as going in. You're short to chuck him. Chuck him, he wants to crucify him. What are you doing up at this time, then? What does it look like, ironing your shirts? Hands off. I can look, can't I? Oh, yes, nobody's stopping you from doing that. What was this club of yours like? Last word. Oh, yes. I've seen places like that before. Four cases of light ale and a fruit machine. This is real thing. You want to see anything like this? I've uh, been around, you know. And what sort of people went there? All sorts. Bookies, boxers, me dad. Your dad? Yeah, you know, my father, your husband. 